Hello friends and dudes and buddies and doodles. Welcome back to Duty's Daggers. We have a couple unboxings today to uh, entertain you folks. First of all, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and push the button. Uh, you'll be really happy that you did, I promise you. And follow me on Instagram at duties underscore daggers so that you can see some cool photos and uh, stay up to date on what's going on with the channel. So um, one of these is from uh, Skiff Bearings. And the other is from Kaiser. So let's get into this one first. I ordered uh, some bearings for a knife. I can't remember. Yeah, okay. I did order two sets. And, you know, it was a while ago, and honestly, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot which knife uh, the other pair goes in. I know that I ordered a pair for the Nimble W here. Uh, and I honestly forget what the other ones were for. I'll have to go to the compatibility list, look up the size, and then see see what they were for. I'm trying to think, and I can't remember. So I'll do a separate video of installing these babies into the Nimble W, and we'll uh, you know it'll be a an, uh, disassembly video slash bearing upgrade video. But for now, we'll set them aside. And get into this Kaiser. So, guys, if you didn't know, if you've never ordered from the Kaiser website, their shipping is incredibly fast. Um, I only ordered this like two or three days ago, and it's already here. I'm, there's no way they're coming from overseas. Uh, it just it wouldn't happen that fast. So I'm not sure where they're coming from. Uh, I, I I don't know, but um, it's super duper fast, which I is awesome. So, um, I'm excited, man. I saw this was on sale for 50 bucks, and uh, I, w I had to get it. This is a mini sheepdog, but it's not the regular mini sheepdog. Come on. Can you please open? There we go. It's not the regular mini sheepdog. And I, I've never owned a, a sheepdog of any kind before. Uh, I've owned a sheepdog design but not one of the uh, sheepdogs. So I'm really uh, happy and excited to check this out. I've always wanted one, just never really got around to getting it. What's in here? Hardware, cool. So here it is. All right, yeah, it's about the size I was expecting. So if you don't know, there's a mini, there's a, a regular and then an XL. Black linen micarta feels pretty good. Stone washing on the uh, the clip and the blade. So this is not the liner lock. This is the double detent version. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Listen to that, dude. That is a very pronounced click. This might be really fun. All right. You can reverse flick it. Sweet. Now this is what I'm curious about. Oh, yes, I can do it. Yes. I saw a video of someone doing that, and I had to buy this, because it's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really fun. All right. That's just as fun as I was hoping it would be. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can buy this in a liner lock version, but... I don't own anything with a double detent, and uh, I thought that'd be kind of cool. So uh, this is, it's really meant for uh, places where, you know, uh, locking knives are illegal. Um, you know, it's a way to uh, to get the sheep, the mini sheepdog into uh, people's hands where they, you know, in areas where they can't own a liner lock. Um, but I can own a liner lock or, you know, locking knives where I live, but I just wanted to check it out because... It's kind of fun. And another good thing about the design is it can't really close on you because your finger is going to be up here in the choked up spot halfway or probably more like three quarters on the blade and, and partly on the scale there. So if it did close on you, it, it, it can't. It can't close on you, basically. Your finger's in the way. So uh, I feel pretty safe with this one. I really do. Um, so let's check it out here. The micarta feels like good quality. The uh, we have an acid wash on the blade that looks good. 
yeah, it looks good. I'm, I'm glad it's not just a black coated blade. Um, I usually don't like just plain black coated blades. I like the uh, the acid stone washing. This one's looking good. Yep. We have that same finish on the clip. I really like this clip. I think this clip looks great. I'm glad they didn't put the typical Kaiser clip on this, which looks something like this. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this clip, so um, I'm stoked on this clip. I really like it. I wish they would put this clip on, on more Kaisers. Um, it's inset with flat-headed screws right there. Um, yeah, ergonomically, it's a sheepdog. If you've ever owned a sheepdog, um, you know, you can choke back. I can actually get a full grip, even choked back. Barely, but it is a full grip. Um, but choked up, oh yeah. That's where it's at, baby. Very, very comfortable. Uh, the scales are contoured and, uh, you know, chamfered all the way around the edges. Really just comfortable, man. Um, I feel the clip, but it's not a hot spot. There's also this little kind of cutout right here. And I guess that's probably for your pointer finger. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's cool. So if you're doing, like, really precise detail work, you can put your pointer finger right in that little notch and really kind of get, you know, it feels like you have more control over the tip that way. 154CM blade steel, fantastic. I love 154CM. Um, let's see. Yeah, you got the Sheepdog logo right there. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I mean, the the detent is fantastic uh, for the reverse flick. And the, just the fact that you can pop it shut like that is so fun. Uh, I've never done this on a knife before. This is a completely new thing to me. And uh, that's the reason I got it, you know. Uh, I could just get a regular liner lock like I always get. But this is something new. Something new and exciting. I really, I really like this. I really, really like this. This is awesome. Listen to that snap from the disengagement. That is a crispy, crispy detent. Very crispy. This one's not as strong. Which is probably good because you want the strong one in the open position so it won't close as easily. So they did that right. And um, it's a joy to reverse flick. Absolutely. Can I thumb flick this thing? Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. Oh, this is really fun. Oh, I'm so happy. I was I was just really hoping that I would be able to do exactly this. Put a little pressure on the spine and just be able to pop it closed like that. Um, you know, the amount of time it's going to take for you to take this knife out of your pocket, cut something, and then put it away... It's going to be faster than if you had a, a, a frame lock or a liner lock or some kind of other locking mechanism. Maybe not faster than like a, a bar lock or a button lock, but definitely faster than a liner or a frame lock, for sure. Bam. Cut. Away. You're done. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. I love it. I would recommend this knife to anyone wanting to, you know, get a knife that's a little outside the box from what they always get. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, this is just really fun. Really fun, really fantastic overall design. Uh, you know, handling this, it makes me really want the uh, the regular sized sheepdog uh, even more. Uh, this is just a really, really, really good sheep's foot style blade. Great choke up spot. I mean, this is unbelievably comfortable. I love how close I can get up to the edge. Let's measure it really quick. Blade length is at a little less than two and five eighths. Uh, the actual cutting edge is about two and a quarter. Overall, we've got. Let's see, about four and a quarter, and then closed we have three and a half. Let's do a couple size comparisons really quick just so you guys can get an idea of how big it is. Here's the baby banter, it's definitely going to be bigger than that. 
here's another Kaiser, the mini big lighter. There you go. And how about the Kaiser Lieb as well? Bigger than that one too. Not by a whole lot, but it is for sure. Definitely feels a lot bigger because you can get a, a really good full grip on it. This one doesn't have the choke up spot, so you're not, not getting that. Um, let's do the PM2. And we'll do the Hope Deca. How about that? There you go. By the way, I added this lanyard on my baby banter. This is the bead that came with the uh, the Kaiser Cormoran Serape. And uh, I think this looks really nice on the baby banter. Um, I'm not a huge lanyard guy, but there are some knives that I, I think really look good with lanyards. And this is one of them. Um, I, think, I think this looks really cool, man. Look at that. That's just a good looking package right there, baby. Alrighty, so I am very, very happy with this. Kaiser's having a sale on their website right now, and I'm not sure if if the uh, the coupon code will still be active, but go check. The code is Kaiser2022, uh, all one word, and um, that will give you an even larger discount. You can use that on top of the discounts that are already being given at Kaiser. Um, KaiserKnives.com. So go check it out. This thing, uh, I think it was around 50 bucks with shipping and tax and, and everything. About around 50 bucks out the door, which is, I think, a really good deal. 154 CM, mini sheepdog, you know, good quality uh, micarta, great stone washing, really fun double detent system. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic buy. Well, that's about it. I got the live stream uh, tonight, so I got to get ready for that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I think you guys should really get, you know, consider getting yourself a double detent knife. Um, they actually have a double detent in this uh, Serape series, the Mini Bay. Um, it's much smaller than this one. I think it's even smaller than uh, the Baby Banter, but um, it is a double detent knife, and uh, you you can operate it, operate it the same way. Flick it and then snap it shut like this. Um, so there's that. But I mean, this one, gosh. It's so good. We're perfectly centered, by the way. Completely solid lockup. This is a really fun knife, man. I can't wait for uh, to uh, start carrying it. Sweet. All right. Thanks for watching, peeps. I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love.